Hello, welcome to another installment of Comparative Reasoning. I'm your host, Cedric Kennedy, and while the last one I did is uh, processing, it might be done by now, I don't know. Um, I'm going to talk to you about this whole uh, living wage thing. Um, I want you to keep your eye on the prize. That means to never falter from your vigilance. Uh, people need, they need money. It's a capitalist society, so it's all about money. It's not about anything else. Okay. Um, I'll try to hyper focus on this one. So, in general, just to keep your eye on the prize, people people go, are broke. They're getting broke, and some are getting broke. Uh. Okay. So, Bernie Sanders has placed this whole thing this whole topic along with even uh larry lessig um not not so much as andrew yang uh who is someone i don't like now i already didn't like him so it ain't about now andrew yang lost my give a damn a while ago um but they wanted you to have a living wage but the compromise all right, 2016's compromise, and it, and even uh, 2020's compromise, while Bernie Sanders was running, was fifteen dollars an hour, not the living wage, just increase the minimum wage. So keep your eye on the prize. The idea is to make sure the minimum wage is going to be fifteen dollars an hour. And there's going to be a lot of pushback because people don't want to lose their money. Now, now the argument, now that Biden is now president, the argument is now the living wage is not because the living wage, when they already did it, the minimum wage should be 15. But the living wage will be on average like twenty two dollars to uh, twenty five dollars. That's what managers made back in the mid 90s managers was making $25 an hour on average um but now they're making it that the living wage that now that they're changing that the living wage is $15 an hour so if you ever hear anyone talk about they need a living wage they need $15 an hour you need to know they are lying they are bsing you to the 10th degree they have literally abandoned their whole argument in favor of a status quo hey look you know what $15 an hour is cool everyone can raise their prices the $15 an hour is is, is meaningless because everyone would have raised their prices so that means you get $15 an hour you would get more money almost negligible in most cases and when people raise their prices and raise the insurances and things like that, that 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 minimum wage is going to be negligible. That's what they're going to do. It's not that they have to do it, but the idea of a corporation is to what? Make more money. And they can't make more money by giving you more money. They can't do that. So if you go to work and they say, hey, thanks for the work. Here's this money. But our prices are going to raise. Your buying power is going to be as it was before this happened. But they're changing the tone. They're changing the argument. Don't allow them to do that to you. Don't. You want to send a statement? and You, you let them know. You, can let, you are the constituent. They are the public servant. So anyone you hear talk about the living wage is fifteen dollars an hour when you hear that you send them a message i don't care if it's on twitter email or you can find and talk to them personally and say you have changed the discourse you have changed the argument you have now ruined you are aiding in ruining everyone having a better financial life i will not be voting for you and i will be telling everyone else to not vote for you because you have just abandoned the idea of us being just a little bit better that's what you do you have hurt us by doing this now we're gonna vote you out or we're gonna do our best to try 
We don't need you've already shown your hand. We'll let you know what's going to happen. You had the chance to do right and you didn't. We're going to find someone that will. And if they don't do right, we're going to do the same thing to them. It's that simple. That's how you enact change. You let them know straight up to their face and through action, you're done. So don't let them change the discourse. Don't let them change the verbiage. The argument must stay the same. A living wage is no less than $22.50. A minimum wage of $15 an hour is the compromise. You want the compromise, but at grandest, you want that extra. And how that affects other businesses and whatnot, that's a different one. But right now, don't let them change the narrative at all. Cedric Kennedy, Comparative Reasoning, thank you for listening.